do not register new music with a PRO unless you have made a decision that that particular piece of music will always be licensed non-exclusively. So this happens often. People will write a piece of music and they immediately go uh, sign it with the PRO or um, yeah, register with, with the PRO. But if then um, they submit through taxi to an exclusive company, we will be registering that particular piece of music with us as the publisher. So we don't want to have to then now have have to have paperwork with them to go to the PRO to make the changes so that we become the publisher. It just becomes a lot of admin work that's unnecessary. So do not register the piece of music until you've made that decision. Now, as a composer, one thing that I've made a conscious decision after several years with Taxi was when I write a piece of music deciding, okay, am I going to pitch this piece of music non-exclusively or am I okay with this music living in, living exclusively in a catalog? And once I make that decision, that becomes the decision for that piece of music for its lifetime rather than saying, well, I'm going to put it into an exclusive catalog and then I will pull it out in a couple of years and then I will make it non-exclusive or, or the opposite, which would be even worse, putting it in a bunch of non-exclusive catalogs, then pulling it out after several years and then saying, oh, I'm going to sign it with this person exclusively, when technically that piece of music could never be exclusive to that company after it's been non-exclusive with others. Because if it has been used in the past, then it does exist in a non-exclusive way out in the world. And I know I'm getting into the weeds with this conversation. It's a little bit heavy. But the bottom line is don't register your music with the PRO until you've signed it with a publisher, really, is what I'm saying. Right. I mean, there are different cases where you would want to register it with a PRO. That's but, right. But when you're dealing with the music library, and, and just for anybody watching this that's not familiar with the term production music library, those are publishers that are specifically interested in pitching your music to film and television. Um, it, it's different than a regular publishing deal where you're writing songs for, let's say, Sony ATV or Warner Chapel or Universal Music Pub, and they're pitching your stuff to, you know, Beyonce level artists or Lady Gaga, whoever, you know, the pop act uh, of the year is. That's a different kind of publishing deal. And that's a whole different thing that I don't want to get into discussing right now because we're on this film and TV thing. But uh, yeah, it doesn't make any sense to to pay for the registration, do the work for the registration when you're hopefully going to ultimately sign with a production music library and they're going to register it um, on their own. So don't make them do the extra work and why should you waste your money and waste that work effort? Um, give us an... Um, yeah, and if you're not sure, then wait for for the time after you've signed and then talk with your publisher and say, if you're not sure, ask them, do I register, do you register? And they'll be happy to tell you what what will work for them and what needs to be done. 